Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Re, and so today I have brought you guys this Hemi Jelly Gouache set that I got off of Amazon. So let's quickly talk about the pricing for this gouache set. So this gouache set is actually $24.99 right now on Amazon. I also noticed a pink color for the palette too, so I think that one was just recently added. When I first opened up this set, I noticed that it was a little hard to actually get open. I had to pull on it a little bit. Um, and I noticed how hard the packaging was, but I did notice that the mixing tray that the palette came with was also a little bent. As I opened up the containers, I noticed that they're shaped like, um, like an IHOP jelly packet, 30 milliliter cups. And yeah, they were pretty hard to open. Um, I had to put a lot of force into getting them off. Um, I don't know if that also had to do with my nails, but they were pretty tough to pull off. Um, and it was quite messy, so I highly recommend you guys having some baby wipes on hand because this needed some cleanup work. To not waste the paint, I decided to go ahead and place the foils on the back of the actual lid. As I was unraveling all of these paints because, you know, this was just a process, I noticed that the smell of these paints were pretty strong. Um, I also had two whites in this set, um, not knowing really what's the difference of the colors because if you look at them with the naked eye, they basically look identical. Also, while I was actually filming this, somehow I dropped um, one of the whites in the palette because I didn't open up both. I only opened up one at first um, and then I dropped one of the whites in the palette and I couldn't tell whether that was the warmer or the cooler white because there are difference in the white. So on the website, well on their Amazon, they have a Titan white and they have a regular white. And I believe that you can get refills for these as well. So I'm going to look into that and see about their customer service on that. All right, now on to the actual piece itself. So this is a piece that I just sketched up really quickly and I was listening to Callie. Um, I don't know how to say her last name. Maybe Uchi. I don't I don't Uchi, Uchi, I don't know. And I just like her music and I decided to take inspiration from one of her photos for, I don't know, maybe a music video or something, but one of her photos, it was really cute. And I decided to take inspiration from that. And that's how I came up with this piece. You can also see the original sketch on my Instagram. So I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and follow me over there. The process for this piece was to just do thin layers at first. Um, and also if you guys was wondering what that red spray was, that was just a bit of the paint and, um, some water that I put in the spray bottle so I can get the blown out effect in the background. But yeah, I did very thin washes of the gouache. I just tried using them more like watercolor at first um, because I know I wanted this piece to have a lot of life in it, but I also wanted to keep certain tones, um, like more of a warm tone to this piece of art. I didn't want to have, um, a lot of cool tones i did use some cooler tones like for her eyes so i made her eyes like a blue gray just so we can have a little bit of contrast um it was very difficult to keep using this paint because if you leave it out it dried so it started creating these holes um from like where the paint wasn't I don't know from where it started to dry and it became difficult to to keep using i wanted to use it fresh but over the dates that it took me to actually paint this because i had to keep stopping it was just a mess like so yeah just a fair warning that these are not going to stay in that jelly consistency of course because you know the water is going to evaporate from out of there and it's going to get dry but um all you have to do is just reactivate it with some water um you have to find the right ratio with these paints because of how um these gouache cups are set up they're not like a tube paint where you can really pull out how much you want um you kind of have to be careful with how much you put on the brush or i use um a plastic knife to pull out the paint instead of using my brushes i use a plastic knife and i just put a chunk of whatever i want i also used some sparkly paint that i had gotten from walmart to go ahead and finish off her necklace 
So as for the giveaway, the rules are going to be as follows. I need you guys to follow me on my Instagram. I need you guys to leave your Instagram down in the comment. So that means, of course, you have to comment the video, like it, and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be giving away one of these Himi Gua sets um, in the choice of color that you want to choose. And that's pretty much it for this piece. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I love you. Stay blessed. And don't catch the Rona. Bye.